Hello everyone and welcome to class of SDN in 5G. So let's discuss about 5G network programmability, SDN network programmability. So uh, we have SDN as uh, software defined networking. The main idea of SDN is to separate out or is to move the control uh, plane away from the hardware. So to move control away from hardware this is the main point of SDN and also we have external control of data through a logical software entity which we call it as controller that's why we require a controller in software defined networking so controller the controller is the main entity which manages the packet flow control so controller will manages all the packet flow control so that it can enable intelligent networking so this is for intelligent networking between various devices and various applications so with the help of the controller administrators will able to easily manage the 5g network and they can introduce new services and also they can make the various changes now if we talk about 5g sdn multiple hierarchies so this that means introduction of multiple hierarchies it leads to creation of the network topology so 5g creates a hierarchical course so 5g will be will cache content locally five G will cache content locally but it will require a SDN controller to manage the traffic and orchestrate which devices will how devices will communicate. So controller will be there so that it can manage all the data where to send the data and it will or orchestrate how devices can communicate with one another. So we have hundreds of nodes. The hundreds of nodes may send data to the 5G SDN controller. So the different hierarchies will be across the different radio access network. So also it also depends upon the geographic area. The network will have different levels of the hierarchy structures. So the multiple hierarchies and 5G SDN controller will allow the traffic to shift it dynamically as per the need. This is basically the use of SDN in fifth generation. Thank you so much.